Good. We oh, got you. Yeah, I just popped on. I actually just started my stream. I'm going to do... You are, are you up to anything? No, I'm just on for a brief moment, Dave, because I just hadn't spoke oh. with you in a while. Oh, got you. Yeah, yeah. Well, you get around these holiday times, and there's, like, so many videos and so many events and new maps, and it just gets crazy. But I've got some an hour or so I was going to... I'm just going to get on and... I was going to go up to White Moose and just relax up at White Moose. Yeah, I just saw you pop on. I'm about ready to switch over because none of my kids want to get on the um, game. Oh, I was going to ask you, Sparty. What is with the 400,000 Sparties now? <laughs> are they <laughs> all you know. or are they no, no, just no, no, you no. and your boy? My boy's got one and I got one. Where the others arrive at, I don't know. Oh, okay. Cause I see, I was like, I seen one Sparty in a, like in a cup, and it was while we we're doing league. I'm like, he's normally gone this time of day. <laughs> like, right. Yeah, you were like, it were somebody named Sparty was doing pretty decent. So. Okay. Yeah. He's got one. I got one. Where the others arrive at, I don't know. Oh, got you. Yeah, I kind of assumed that just because you know Sparty isn't the rarest name, obviously, but. <laughs> Okay. I am well, a, if I don't go ahead, sorry, Dave. I was gonna say I'm just coming up to White Moose to fish because I I thoroughly enjoy this place and I I know we have the qualifier here, but I'm not even doing. Oh, it looks like Sparty lost his internet. <sighs> All right, I just want to relax and catch some fish. What are you guys up to? I know. Stream just started, but some of you guys are probably already up here. Let's see here. Um, let's play with. Let's see. Maybe let's go to here and fish a little bit on our first day. And could look at custom comps, but. I just kind of want to relax. Wow, there is a lot running. Holy crap. Jeepers. People are practicing like crazy. 11.15. Oh. Bella's got one. Um, I would actually do that, but that's a lot of money to go down there. What is it? Total weight? Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually a really cool cop. Nice. All right, let's get some fish caught. Oh, I'm hitting wrong buttons here. Also, I have a lot of fireworks in my bag. Should probably take care of that today. Oh, and I want to be in a random room. All right, let's get reeled in here and then go into a random room. How's everybody doing today? Who's even here? My friends. Oh, T4 is. Okay. Let's go to a random room. Whew. Okay, I just spawned right in front of somebody. Hey, Rex, are you online? Hey, 
cold. It's not cool. Wow, this first day, I forgot how slow this day is. Am I right? Is there another? Holy crap, there's another Super Kelly. What? Look at that. Super Gamer. Top cat. <laughs> No, get ready and back, go back to work. Oh, is that where you've been the last few days, Rex? Jeepers, you've been like non existent. Supposed to work during the week, not on the weekend. What are you working on today, Rex? <laughs> yeah. I've never seen anybody else named Supa that isn't either me and my wife or, you know, somebody in the family. What are you working on, Rex? Man, they are super slow on this day. Let's try going down lower. Uh, he uh, doesn't even think, I don't even think he's reading chat. Fish up putting countertops on in bathroom. Oh, okay. Vanity. Yeah, these low pressure days up here just not. Not overly amazing. Hmm. Was well, there there is there a race even today, Rex, or no? Oh, it should be the last day. How many days have you been working on it, Rex? Oh, you went to Gen 2 this morning? Oh, okay. I actually did this morning as well, too, Rex. Yeah, when I went and got the shadow means, yeah. Three and a half days? Jeez, Rex. Oh, brook trout. Start off our day. Are you doing it? Are you doing it at your house, Rex? Or are you doing it for somebody else?
I had to demo it left tearing stuff up now. I have to replace it. <laughs> yeah. Brooke Trout and Splake. That's an interesting two first catches. Normally I get the Uni Splake. Or a Trophy Splake right away. And a Uni Lake. And then the Uni Trout. Lake Trout. So we're having a little slow start here. Oh, somebody else. Okay, because I know you were they were tearing apart your floor and stuff. So you're almost done, you said, on that? There's a trophy splake I was telling you guys about. Frank 41. Huh. Come on, you there, hit it. Oh, yeah, the Lost Styles. Oh, here we go. Tell Liam to stream with Fish and Planet, and if he wants to join with Fish and Planet, he can. Now the Uni Splake or Uni... Lake should hit pretty soon here. Oh. Should have a shield, Kelly. No. More interesting like this. Uh, all right, there we go. Let's try a cast over on this side here. was a good hit. Come on now. There you are. Should be a good salmon actually. Wow. It's a good salmon or a big lake. Well, it's going to be green, whatever it is, so that's a good start. When is registration for tournament? I'll actually look right after here. That's a good point. I would assume tomorrow at noon. That's a trophy lake. That's a big trophy lake. Jeez. Uh, all right, so let's look at tournament is the 14th. What is the day, Kelly? Uh, I don't know. Registration, 13th. Oh, oh. it's so two days. So tomorrow at noon, it looks like, yeah. I have to remember to sign up for that one. And I think we're going to go fish for some bass and... Florida as well. All right. Well, 
it's not my unique. Normally I get a unique spike or a unique lake trout right here, but pretty early on, but it's kind of being a pain today. I guess it could be the lake or the spike, but it's a light if it is. Yep, there it is, unique spike. Okay, I'm not as crazy as I think I am. <laughs> Now I should get the unique lake or a trophy. It should be a trophy or a unique lake trophy next. There he is right there. Boy. You can almost predict these guys. That's a really big trophy here, a little uni. He's charging like a son of a gun. Oh, this is almost feels like a big trophy. uni now holy cow he's fighting different than normal ones that's for sure they're not normally this uh they're not normally this crazy he's fighting like a dang salmon oh well that would be why <laughs> Well, I kind of called the order of the fish there after they were kind of being dumb at the beginning. Let's uh, mark that one. Let's go ahead and grab some of these other marks off. Um, I don't remember respawns here. Like they're five, hey. five. I'll put that down for now and I'll adjust it later. Get rid of that one. All right. So that one's not a bad size at all. Let's see if we can get the uni brook over here quick. Probably get another trophy splake. Thanks, Rex. <coughs> It'd be nice to get trophy. To either the trophy splake over here or the trophy brook and then the unique <clears throat> come on I feel you hitting it's a brook trout hitting it oh come on he's spawning in again really quick come on quit just take it Salmon, I think. Might be the. Might be a brook, but. No, it's just a little lake. Yeah. Rex, what's your favorite lake to fish at again? I know we just talked about this. I forgot. We haven't got that Trophy Atlantic out of this side either yet. Oh, we might have a Trophy Brook. 
Blue Crab. How's it going, Lukey? There he is, our Uni Brook. Alright, let's go. Advance. Let's see if we can get. Hmm. See if we can get him in that slow period on the next day, because that is being a pain in the butt. This day is a nightmare day on this low pressure. Let's try it. Sit here and not catch anything though on this day. This is a rough day on White Moose. Lukey, what's your favorite map of the game? We're gonna let this sink a little lower because it's high pr or low pressure, but. There's something. That's my uni lake. Trophy lake. He's charging. So I'm kind of weird. Normally I get the trophy squeak before I get the trophy lake. Come on, get in here. Chubb, you're going to die. I guess it could be a little uni, but it doesn't feel like it. Must be easier to shed if he's getting burbots there. Oh, he's on a bait pole. There we go. We'll take that. That's... A little lake, but we'll take her. Okay. So going down in the on that. Actually, I think that might be tomorrow's video. I might do one on. Who is it? Oh, is it? Yeah. Chubb and Kelly are having a fight. He's gonna win. Oh my God! Half a heart, both of you guys. That's crazy. Wait. No. What did you do, Kelly? Are you on his world? Yeah, it says my world. Oh, you're not fighting over me. Hey, uh, I'm going to join. Mom, you're joining me. You, you guys quiet? Dad's still streaming. Well, Brooke maybe here? Oh, a little splake. That's a really little splake. Holy crap. Yeah, going down will help you a little bit on this day, on this high, low pressure day. The next video, actually, tomorrow might be about the weather. Trophy spike, actually. That's a little light. Ah, yeah, it was my trophy. Okay. Can tell I fished here before. <laughs> now it should be my uni spike, but we'll see. This day isn't as good. All right, have a good one, Rex. We'll see you later. Get done with your work. Mom, where are you? Oh, that's a nice little anecdote that he got. I'm Italian, and I want... Oh... I do your wonder. Oh, nice, nice. 
Yeah, I do a quite. I do. We do the leagues, and, and every once in a while, I just do a normal comp. But yeah, I like having fun with them. Um, they are right here, I believe. I think this is my mark for pumpkin seed. Oh, that's Lake Chubb. God, I think they're over here, though. Um, actually, we should help this guy out quick. Uh, pumpkin seed. And we will go... We'll go afloat. Oop, my it helps if I'm on my float tackle. Uh, let's do uh, six. I don't think they get the trophy here, do they? Yeah, we'll do. We'll just do bread. Did I go buy it? I did. Drop this down, and we'll do and at the same time. We'll be very careful, but we'll cast over here. A, a pike can destroy our line here. I don't have a leader on, so. <sighs> yeah, it's a little pressure, D. Can you... All right, have a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. All right. Yeah, low pressure days seem like you want to go down a little bit. Could actually set up both of them poles, try to get a pumpkin seed here quick. You can get them over here, over that by that dock. Um, yeah, actually, let's go pick this up here. 
Let's go to the other day here quick. I know I'm bouncing around quite a bit, but I like doing that on... Uh, I like doing that when I'm just messing about. Throw our good line over yonder. Let's see if we can get a hook a uni lake from this angle. It's going to be really hard to get one from over here, though. Actually, I'll save that mark too. So I have one for when we do our exploration right here. got that pretty quick so let's see if we can hook one of them mini lakes Pike on this close, so let's move back over to the other side, get our unis again. This morning peak is a little bit slow, but we can get them out. See if we get that order again like we normally do. Should be either Uni Splake or Trophy Lake. Oops. 
All right, at least we're getting some money. They're just in there warring with each other. No, that was a Oh, you're in creative mode. How? Oh. Chubb probably turned the world creative. Oh, the little cheater. Uh -uh. My uh, kids and wife are all playing next to each other. Really interested to in see if that super gamer, where, where he got his name from, that's kind of cool. What? All right, let's do this, Dave. For what, Dixie? I can't play with mom or, or David when he's leaving. How can they play with you? They don't have it. I don't know. Huh. Don't worry about it right now, Dixie. Shouldn't be able to play. Might be remnants of last year's that they had. Oh, there's something here. Mm. Trophy Lake? Come on, get in here. Come on, but man, that's a big lake tro trophy. Come on now. Keeps nipping. Whew. Oh, darn it. Go to this other side for a minute. These low pressure days at White Moose can be kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, there's, that's a brook trout or a perch if I ever seen it. Sometimes you get a little trophy perch in here, but not often. Yeah, there's a book. I 
Come on. Come on. Really, you nibble him. Wasn't a terribly large fish nibbling, but I was nibbling. All right, let's go back over. And I think after a few more casts, we're going to go over to Everglades to catch some uni bass for a little bit. I haven't done that in a while. Wow, I don't think we have to wonder what that was. Jesus. That guy told us right away what he was. That is a lake trout. He, he hit big, but he's not fighting that big. He's fighting like a 40 pounder. Oh, I guess he wasn't that bad, but he, I mean, he wasn't like that 47 we just got. Whew. That might be the uni spike. Trophy, actually, probably, but. All right, let's go over, try to catch our. Uni Brook now. Probably catch a trophy Atlantic and a trophy uh, Lake too, but I kind of want to catch it. be him right there actually that might be a trophy though too yeah it's a trophy really soon we're gonna have that Christmas event and that honestly will be a lot I'm guessing they're gonna bring back a lot of the you know like the unique furry trout and the antlered salmon and we'll be up here quite a bit because i like fishing them be cool if they bring decorated fish back but i don't know if they're really going to yet so it'd be cool oh there's a nib one take it you butt Come on. Yeah, he's it's definitely hitting there, but let's cast her way out. Sometimes I get that uni brook way out. Normally I get him real close, but sometimes you get him way out there. Wait for it to come down a little bit though.
That should be our Atlantic Salmon. Yeah, he's moving pretty good, too. Might be. Could be a regular lake trout, but I doubt it. Well, that might be. He's not surfacing much. Let's try it again here. How's it going, Catherine? Oh, that looks to be a different Catherine. I'm on hit it. a little brook. Alright, why don't we go down to the Everglades and fish for a little bit. Take these off, take these off. Let's go ahead and leave. How we doing all today? Oh, how's it going, Rob? <laughs> yeah. Any day could be a good day for Gabe, and that's for sure. Today is a good one. We're going to go down and do a little bit of bass fishing here towards the end here. Oh, he, he, let's go down to Florida. You got a fish on planet, Rob? All right, first of all, let's go one hour in the morning. It'll be a little bit more harder to catch on what we should still get our UDs. And then let's get into a random lobby and see who... Nope, I want to be in a random lobby, not my own rob lobby. There we go. Make sure, I normally wait when I join a room just to see if there's people. Yeah, there's somebody on that corner, I figured there would be. Come on. Now, normally on this day, I use the 4-0. But, because I feel like we're going to use a six, 
Yeah, I play Ark and Farm. Oh, Farm Simulator 22 and Riders Republic. I don't play Riders Republic, but. Um, yeah, I play the other two definitely quite a bit. Ark is definitely my most played game. And then Farm Simulator, obviously, we just got done streaming that. Really slow on this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I just was doing some logging this morning. I figured I would stream it. I actually did it right before I got done. Or right before I started streaming this. Oh, I haven't heard anything different on there. Should be coming out soon. Who knows, though? Yeah, I have to. I have to go look more on that. I'm probably have news on my Congo tomorrow at some point, but I didn't hear him switch it to January. So I mean, we should be getting it any time. Oh my gosh, we are going to the evening. I am not doing this. This is ridiculous right now. Well, not post to probably generate some bugs for the new console. Mostly PlayStation is the issue, but I stand by PlayStation. Oh, yeah, completely agree. PlayStation is best on, on filtering the updates of new games because a lot of new games sometimes rush stuff. Honestly, I would be really happy with it coming out with January. Anyway, we got the Christmas event, and we have a bunch of other stuff. If it does come out in January, I'd be thrilled. Because I don't want to take away from the Christmas event doing it, and, you know, there's... And I thoroughly normally enjoy the Christmas event. It's normally my favorite event on, on here. 
that and the Halloween one I like a lot. And I don't like, um, some people will just spam out when there's a new lake coming up, will we'll just spam out, con or, you know, stuff, repeating the same stuff in video after video every day, but I'm not going to do that. I put out the information that they released, and I'm just kind of staying by that till the lake comes out, and then we'll see. Huh. Oh, there we go. I can't believe we had our uni over here yet. This place is being ridiculous today. This normally easy one or two cast unique over here. I'm okay with them delaying it, though. I would rather have a better product that comes out to us than something rushed and buggy, or maybe they figure, they come out and they give it too much XP. Or I'd rather just have it come out the way it's meant to come out, to be honest. So. Well, this uni on this side is being a bot. We're going to go to the other side for a minute. It's the longest I think I've ever went in this whole game without getting a unique on that side. Are you looking forward to the new map on Ark? Oh my god, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We'll be over there the first day it comes out. I'll be doing some videos on it, obviously, because I enjoy doing it. Uh, new stuff. Maybe like a base, base locations guide. Or something. And then we'll also be in the Let's Play series. We'll be heading over there for a little bit. We're not going to try to beat the whole map. But I do want to look at the new dinos. Explore the map a little bit. And stuff like that. I really like the idea of it. So, Also this side is being kind of a twat waffle. What the heck? We're going to put the 4-0. I see, feel like this 6-0 is just, I normally use a 6-0 on the good days, but this isn't one of the good days, so you should bring it down. Oop, I got hiccups. How long have I been playing Ark? Well, <laughs> believe it or not, I seem to be slightly more, no, more well-known for Conan and Fiction Planet. I've actually been playing ARK since about the moment it came out on PC. I started playing beta on June 2nd of 2015. So I was one of the first, like, couple thousand people that played it. And it's where all my hours are, gaming-wise. Yeah, so you have played a long time too, then. Yeah, I have a... On here, I have a total of... Uh, 
on PS5, I have a total of 4,000 or 5,000 hours, and then I have on PC another six or so. I started playing on Ark over there. Pretty much every game I have, I played on PC as well. Really surprised I haven't got my unis over here. Come on. Yeah, same for me on Fish and Planet, yeah. Fish and Planet's definitely been an interesting change, because when it came out on PC, there was not a whole lot. I mean, we had the U.S. lakes, of course, but there was no night fishing, there wasn't um, canoes, no... I mean, there wasn't... You actually, at the very beginning of Fish and Planet, used to get bait coins for Unique. No, not the fishermen, the fisher planet, but in the very beginning used to get bait coins. And totally agree. I get off and out of fish and planet when it first came out. I've played it obviously more than out recently, but last two years I've pretty much played it pretty straight <sighs> I just want to get this uni out I can't believe it I play ARK so much, I play other games, I swear I hear dinos, but I look around, I realize I'm not playing ARK. Yeah. <laughs> totally agree. Actually, when I play Conan, sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm pretty sure that, that was a Triceratops stopping by me. The one thing in Ark I miss is I miss the old crafting sounds. I I really miss the the old crafting sounds, not the new ones. I mean the new ones aren't bad either, but I miss the old fight music and the old crafting sounds. The ting 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 also time. You like PvP or PvE better? I started in PvP on PC, and that's probably where most of my hours are. I do PvE now because of videos. It's easier, obviously, to do that. And honestly, I play a lot of games, so it's really a tough. PvP is a lot of fun and it's worthwhile. But it's if you play as many as I game on, you know, on, on I mean, on the channel, there's generally, I mean, the last you know couple months you can see we play regularly, probably eight games. So it's <clears throat> it's really tough to do PvP and keep that up. I've been eating stuff a little bit here. I had a sandwich quick while I was 
I can't believe what a butt nugget this fish is being, though. Fishing plan's been on. Hey, you only fished twice this week. You're not going to have a good day today. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Crispy. <laughs> uh, we're going to try this side again with some better luck. Yeah, see, I just build squares. I don't normally build really cool-looking buildings, sadly. I wish I did, but I'm not that type of person. Do you play official or unofficial, Rob? I've always been more of an official player. I like official a lot better. Yeah. Do you have you seen the series I do on official? We just did like the King Titan the other day. Man, what a butt nugget. Well, it's fast, so we're making some money at least. But cheapers. Yeah, we, I just completely started from square one oh, less than three months ago, around three months ago now. We're doing pretty good. Um, in the series, I'm going kind of slow, but off camera to do boss videos and stuff like that with that character, I've beaten all the bosses, but the uh, Alpha Gamma or Alpha Gen 2 setting up for Gamma Titan. Yeah. Yeah, when you go after the King Titan, you want to make sure you have the Forest Titan tamed and the Ice Titan. Because the actual hardest fight in Ark, believe it or not, actually is an Alpha King Titan. It's Beta King Titan. And that's all of Ark. That's even harder than the Dragon normally. But once you get good at it, like all of them, they're all pretty easy. Now I got a feeling we'll have that uni hit now that it's switched. The Alpha King Titan, you get to use the Mega Mech if you have it, and that makes that fight really easy. But we actually did, you can watch the last video we did, we beat Beta, Beta King Titan in about three, less than three minutes. So, But they kind of... They kind of did some interesting stuff. They threw a bunch of gigas at it at the at the end of the like a minute or a minute and a half in, and you don't need to throw gigas at the King Titan. It's a waste of your time. It's a waste of your gigas because a lot of them are gonna die. Jeez. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, the Glitch Blast list, I have both of them, but... Um, I have the negative and I have the positive, so... Um, uh, but anyway, what happens is you, you when, you're, when you're taming them, there was a two-day period where you could heal them with a tech pistol... And you could heal them up and get extra taming effectiveness over the 100. It's pretty crazy. So you, you would damage it, then start taming it. And you still have 100% taming effectiveness because you weren't taming it yet. And then you heal it and you can get more. That's how they were getting over. They were getting crazy stats like they were. Come on, this is ridiculous. 
couple casts with this here. I don't know how many I raised total over the turkey event, but on just the life event, I did 114. I think we did that right on stream, actually. If you go back and look at the life event stream, you should when you when I look up, you can see a lot of them. Well, part of them were grown through that stream, but yeah, the raising now is pretty crazy. It's pretty easy compared to what it used to be. Back in the day, a raising four gigas was pretty rough. Not, you know, like I did a. Uh, on our Primitive Plus series, which is almost like Old Ark, we did unofficial. I did uh, I did 20 gigas, and then like 100 and some dinos total, and that was, ugh. You know, again, without cryopods, and you have to have all the stuff for imprinting, and, you know, you can't pot it. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. I think... Over the course of the turkey event, I think we did about 200 gigas. I gave them away a bunch. Um, I gave out, I gave away about 100, and then I sold a bunch on the Facebook trading groups. Yeah, I got... Uh, I got the 12... 85 melee relatively early and then I have the decent weight as well to go with it. Two weeks stability by two, yeah. Yeah, when I first started playing Ark, max level was 61 and wild dinos were level 30. That was a good wild dino. It was level 30. And it did take, yeah, it took some serious effort to build back then. Holy, come on. Apparently, there is no largemouth bass. So, or no, no uniques. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong today. I've been kind of not paying. I've been paying attention to chat more than anything. Let's go over here. Do a few casts. How, what were the stats of the gigas you raised? The hatch stats? Rub. Vacation, it's cold out. Where do you live, Rob? Oh, there's something decent, at least. I think it's a trophy. Oh, it might be Yumi. It's a trophy. Good trophy. Okay, I have the 20k health, and then, but I don't use that, because I don't normally put my health on my gigas. I have the 20k on a couple breeders, and then, but the ones I do are 361 hatches, and they're 1449 or weight, and then 1285 melee. I like having the weight for meat runs. And actually, in our next episode, oh, okay. <laughs> I live in northern Wisconsin, Rob, so I definitely feel you on the cold stuff. Actually, my friend Wix, that we record with a lot, she's from Illinois. They got a lot of tornadoes yesterday. I guess three of them or something. She got tornadoes, and then I got, <laughs> we got snow. That's what we got. Yeah, see, I, 
what I did for me personally, I'm not saying I'm right or wrong, but for me personally, I timed what it takes to get meat, and the gig is still quicker, even though um, you can blacklist either of them, and then on the bass list, you can load your inventory up too as well, but um, I still found that for me personally, the gig was slightly quicker on a half an hour of, of how much meat I could get. Because I went through and filled up I had like 60 fridges, and I went through and was filling it up one day, and I was having more luck. And believe it or not, the Shadow Main is really good on meat runs, because not only is it fast, but it gains more meat per bite, per animal than even Giga. Oh, got you. So you're probably relatively warm then, too. Rob, a guy where I where I live right now is like I think it's like twenty or something. It's pretty warm for right now, but this other day we were down in pretty good into the negatives. So like on a Paraceratherium. I can get 400 meat, and um, on the Shadow Main I can get, or I mean, on the Giga I can get 320 on a Paraceratherium, and then on the Giga I get 400, and that's on a Giga, or I mean, on, on my on my Giga I get 320 generally on a Paraceratherium, and my Shadow Main I get anywhere from 350 to 400, and that's on a Giga that's fully maxed out, I can't get any more levels. Favorite colors for dinos? Um, mine is, I, I do my own colors normally, but it's black, blue, and green. Oh, there was a uni. Let's see if we get lucky, get one over here. But Joker is really cool. I have the 1285 stats in Joker, by the way, if you're wondering. Them gigas. I got them on uh, the color code uh, 3, I think it's 32073. Three, my Joker gigas. So, Rob, have you seen the the ARC series that I do? I'm pretty sure I've seen you comment, actually, on it. Or another Rob, I guess. I guess it definitely could be more than one. What's that, Rachel? What is V-O-I? I know what F-Y-I is. Oh, that was a good one there. Darn it. <sighs> oh, I like joining live streams. Oh, got you, got you, got you. Got you, yeah. Yeah, I just put together Joker shadow mains that are my own colors, like that I did, not somebody else did. I did monster colors on shadows, and then we're working right now on my black, blue, and green shadow mains, which I'm really pumped about. Holy cow.
Yeah, the video that came out uh, was it yesterday, I believe, is you can see the, uh, the King Titan fight. On my channels right now, they're uh, 20k health or something like that, and then they're 1196 melee, so almost 1200 melee. But I'm not worried about the melee stat right now. <clears throat> I'm going to wait till they get, because eventually they'll max out at 613 melee. So right now, I'm in the process of getting my melee, or my my weight that I want, and then my health that I want, because I want to have 18k health on my permanent endgame one, um, so the levels don't get high, and then I want some help, and then I got 810 stamina, so I drop the stamina down, and then I have only two points in food and one point in wasted points, I think. So I'm working on getting, I'm working on zeroing my shadow mains and going from there. I, mean, I, I do have okay melee. I mean, the, the 1196 isn't bad melee. It's not top stat, but I'm more worried about I'm, I'm definitely more worried about getting uh, my stats in order and then being able to just go ahead and put um, that melee on my stats. I have the best X-Rexes. I bought them right from the breeder. I'm friends with the X-Rex breeder, Samantha. I have 613 melee with 34.5 thousand health on the X-Rexes. And then I also have the top on the regular Rexes. It's like 1448 and 34,000 or something. All right, we're going to try a different day here. Oh, it's pretty close to the same, though, ain't it? Yeah, well, we we'll fun doing it. <clears throat> and uh, they come out perfectly at 411, my X Rexes. So they're perfect. They're about they're as good as they can get. But like I said, I got them right from Samantha. She's the one that literally breeds them, so. Oh, I don't have to wonder what you are too much. That was a pretty good trophy. What Rexes are you using right now, Rob? Yeah, so you have the same you have the same stuff that I have then. Yeah. You in fact you may have gotten them from me or one of my friends because we actually got them the first day they were out. Well the first day Samantha had them training. Before uh before they could get them for like poly or anything in the game. When I got them, people were buying them for PayPal, yeah, on the first day, so. Yeah, mine are zeros, too. They come out at 411. Blue and green, they're probably the same ones. Although I have Joker ones now, so I have a male that is getting ready to be perfect for that here. I 
I got a bunch of them raised up to, I have like my 15, 20 breeders and then I got my, all my bosses done. I got, I think I got 30 of the X-Rexes as my new boss army, so. But I've been putting the Joker colors together because I'm probably going to sell them here or get them together and then trade them away on Facebook. Oh. Actually, in a minute, I could do a quick live stream over there if, if you want, so you can kind of see what I'm working on over there. By the way, auction on Facebook is a joke. Yeah, I didn't buy the Max Rexes on auction. <laughs> I sold them on auction. But yeah, like the first set I sold the first day that mine were grown, um, they went for like 80,000 polymer or something. My first set that I sold, it was ridiculous. And then I did a couple cloning services, like 50,000 polymer. Oh, this is a decent one there. Heck yeah. That's not too bad. I'll take that. Let's go over here and catch another one. Oh, not over here. Over here. There we go. Yeah, I rarely buy on auctions on the Facebook there, but I sell a lot on them. Oh. Let's catch one more. And then I'll probably switch over to Arc so you can see that little deal over there. Yeah, yeah. And also, too, if you know the breeders, that helps a lot. For like, um,. So way back when Rexes were like 412, I actually was doing, or I was like five, all the way, not 412, 532 is the last stand I did. And then Matt took, Matt did them, my friend, and then he joined up with Samantha, and then Samantha started doing them. And that was the regular Rexes, and then the X Rex, or the X Rexes, she did pretty much herself with the, the, uh, I think his name is Livingston. I think is I don't know him well, but I know her pretty well. I've known her for a long time. All right. All right, well, if you give me two minutes, I'm going to go have a cigarette, and then I will start up, and you can check out what we got going over on ARC. I will be right back, guys. <laughs> 